Sariputta Sariputta Sutta I have never before seen said the venerable Sariputta nor have I heard it from anyone a teacher of such lovely speech leader of a group who has come from Tusita as the one with vision is seen in the world together with its devas having dispelled all darkness along he achieved delight to the buddha unattached impartial not a schemer one who has come as leader of a group i have come in need with a question on behalf of the many here who are bound when a bhikkhu is repassed and resorts to a solitary seat to the foot of a tree or a chana ground or to a seat in mountain caves to various sorts of lodgings how many fearful things are there because of which a bhikkhu should not tremble in a lodging with little noise how many obstacles in the world confront one going to the untraveled region obstacles that a bhikkhu must overcome when living in a remote lodging what ways of speech should he adopt on what resources he should be rely what should be the good behavior and observances of a bhikkhu who is resolute having taken up what training dwelling unified judicious mindful should he blow away his own stains as a smith removes the flaws of silver as one who understands i will tell you in accordance with the dhamma sariputta said the blessed one what is comfortable for one who is repassed if wishing for enlightenment he resorts to a solitary lodging a wise one a mindful bhikkhu of bounded conduct should not be afraid of five perils cat flies and other flies creeping serpents encounters with people four-footed animals nor should he fear followers of other teachings even when he sees the many fears they pose one seeking the good should conquer any other obstacles he encounters afflicted by illness and hunger he should endure cold and excessive heat the homeless one affected by these in many ways should remain firm exerting energy he should not commit theft or speak falsely he should suffuse the frail and firm with loving kindness if he should recognize any blemish in the mind he should dispel it as a fraction of the dark one he should not come under the control of anger and arrogance but should dig them up by their root too then with standing the pleasing and displeasing he should conquer them as well giving precedence to wisdom rejoicing in the good he should suppress those obstacles he should vanquish discontent with remote lodgings he should vanquish the four factors of lamentation what will i eat where will i eat alas i slept badly where will i sleep one in training wandering without a dog should remove these thoughts of lamentation having obtained a meal and clothing in time he should know moderation for the sake of contentment here guarded in these things wandering restrained in the village even when provoked he should not utter harsh speech his eyes should be downcast he should not have restless feet intent on jhana he should be awakeful inwardly concentrated based on equanimity he should cut off regret 
and inclination to thought. If reproached with words, a mindful one should welcome them. He should break through a barren heat toward fellow monastics. He should utter wholesome speech, but not to excess. He should not intend speech that people might blame. Further, there are five kinds of dust in the world, for the removal of which mindful one should train. One should vanquish lust for forms and sounds, for taste, odors and tactile objects. A bhikkhu who is mindful, well liberated in mind, should remove desire for these things at the proper time rightly investigating the Dhamma. Unified, he should destroy darkness. So said the Blessed One.